<laughs> I'm working on it, monster. I swear. I swear. <laughs> I'm going to rearrange my stuff here. I need a Joja Cola to rub on my sore back. Um, I, I don't know. I, I've never had a situation where my back was so sore I was like rubbing a, a Coke can on it. That's pretty weird. That's true. Cabbage is gross, man. I need this guy to open. Well, he might still be working on my axe, actually. You still working on my axe? Yeah, okay, never mind. Never mind then, go about your business. I don't know who keeps burying these books everywhere, but they should probably stop it. Hi, William. Um, no, actually, I'm good. Morrow, how are you doing, Morrow? Let me ask you a question. <laughs> that is a pretty good one. How much for this? Ten thousand. Actually, I need to pop in here real quick and donate a fish. I have a very important fish to update. Where is the specialty fish? Yes, it's a ghost fish. Just fine. Just fine today. I I will say though, work dragged like crazy. And you may remember me mentioning that we lost pallet or power for a couple of hours yesterday. Well, 
that happened again today. We got the uh, notification from Amran in the middle of the workday that we lost power again. So, you know, I think they have it figured out now. Uh, but let's keep our fingers crossed that, you know, if the stream suddenly, like, gets Thanos snapped, you know what happened to me. Okay. I mean, it's all right. I feel like that happens to everyone, right? It is nice to finally chill out. No, I mean, YouTube, I, I kind of look at YouTube as like my hobby. You know what I mean? Um, it doesn't really feel like a job to me, mostly because a lot of it involves me just like doing things I would be doing after work anyway. Um, and honestly, just creating, creating is nice, you know what I mean? It, it makes it feel a lot more worthwhile than if I was just gonna like sit down and play a game for a few hours. It, it means a lot more to me to sit down and play that game for a few hours and then like make something that, you know, other people can give me feedback on and hopefully enjoy. Makes it a lot sweeter to me. Um, but it was like the last hour in particular that just like would not end. I'm sure, I'm sure you can relate. I shoot. school. Nice. Looked out of the window for a second. Sorry about that.
Ooh, lots of copper. Give me all of it. There should be a minecart at the end of this with coal, which I also need, so give me that. Topaz. Oh, I don't have inventory space. Um, I guess I will eat this algae. Totally normal thing for normal people to do is to eat algae. And if you don't do that, then you must not be a normal person. What is that thing? Oh, it's a ring. Is that a glow ring? Two rings. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of the sap. There you go, Moro. Exactly. I don't know why, but it's not like I have too much, you know, experience with people being uh, rude to me for slurping up some delicious algae every now and then. But, you know, it's, it's nice to theoretically have the support of my viewers if I did so choose to enjoy slurping on delicious algae. Oh, okay. I'm out. That's enough mine for one day. Exactly. I mean, I, I grind it up, I put it on my pizzas, you know, I, I bake it into pies. Slimy yet satisfying, I think they said in the Lion King. Um, I will keep the rest of that. Baba. Mm, get out of the way, Baba. Actually, give me the geodes back. But you can have most of this other stuff, and then... Hi, Queen. How are you doing? Sorry if you guys lost, lost the screen. Blah, blah, blah. Lost the stream. For a minute there, uh, I had like a weird power surge, but we're not dead. We're still alive, so it's all good. How are you doing, Queen? How are you today? I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's general store today. Or sorry, today! and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. I think I already have that, Pierre. Why are you sending me ads for something I already have, Pierre? Queen, you gonna upload it? 
Love to hear it. Spino... You know, Spino can be really good. A lot of people don't give Spino too much thought, but... awesome. Yeah, Speed Spino is a monster, especially in the water. I run defensive only because I prefer the way the sail looks, but Speed is a monster. Okay, how do I make... let's see. Tapper, copper bar, and wood. Oh, nice. I can already do that. Sick. I'm excited to see it. That sounds awesome. You know, I thought about playing Path tonight instead of Stardew, but I'm really into Stardew right now. <laughs> it's got its hooks in me. Good. Perfect. Yeah, I know what that's like. Before I started streaming, I would always have to rush to hit, like, the record button. It was a mad scramble every time. I know exactly what that, that feels like. Alright, I'll put a tapper on... Uh, we'll put one on this tree. Put one on this tree. sure I need one of these. Let me just double check. Yes. Okay, cool.
<laughs> awesome. Love it. Where do I take my shrooms? Who wants my shrooms? Do you want my shrooms? Yes, you do want my shrooms. Okay, I have my shrooms. Standing Geode. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so I have heard of Demonologist, and I, I've seen some pretty cool things about it. I've not played it myself yet. Uh, Remnant Records. I have no idea what that is. I've never heard of that. What is that? That sounds awesome. There's also... Uh, oh my gosh, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head right now. But there's one where it's a lot like... Uh, it's a lot like Phasmophobia, except it takes place in, like, Egyptian tombs. And instead of ghosts, you have to figure out what kind of, like, mummy or, like, Egyptian deity is possessing the, uh, the tombs. And you can, like, run through, and it's got, like, traps and monsters and treasure you can collect. It looks awesome. I would love to play that. It'd probably really spook me. <laughs> okay, take that. Put all that away. And sell most of this other stuff except for the copper. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Impact Crater is nutty. I remember going there with my Thalassodromius a lot. And there was always stuff going on. Plus, like every YouTube video I ever see about Gondwa, probably not everyone, but probably like 90% of them take place in Impact. And it's just like a mosh pit every time. I can't wait till they add more dinos. I might grow future dinos on Gondwa. I'm not sure though. For sure. Sue, would you be alright if we watched it on stream? I don't want to steal views from you. So it don't don't feel like pressured or anything. If not, I'll I'll watch it after the stream. Okay, cool. 
yeah. Alright, let's check out this new video. Or Queen's Queen Sua. Is it okay? So it's Spino Defense for Pond. All right, we're gonna watch. This is a uh, Queen's new video. She's in the chat right now. I'm sure both of you are very familiar with her. Um, but she just uploaded this, and I want to check it out. So I uh, figured we'd watch it together if that's cool. Figure it after your showcase and see if you get any better. Um, oh, Suko! Yeah, yeah, Suko's great. I love Suko. Alright, let me make sure the quality... It's on auto. Oh, so... I, I don't think it's maxed out its quality, but we should still be able to see what's going on. Hanya, what's up? Hanya, we're gonna watch uh, Queen's new video. Everyone, if you haven't, if you don't know this, Queen does upload uh, Path of Titans content. And from what I've seen, it's really good. So this is her new video, Spino Defends Her Pond. Um, check it out, you know, if you haven't yet. I love that intro. That's really cool. <laughs> so that's the... Is that the Water Spot skin? That's a really cool skin. I think that's the next one I'm going to go for. I'm running um, Tiger Eye or whatever now. Eye of the Tiger. Sig music. Okay. Oh yeah, I know. No worries, Sue. No worries about it. Yeah, so, just so everyone in chat knows, the quality will be higher. Uh, Hanya probably knows this as well, because I know Hanya also uploads videos. But for some reason it takes a long time to process up to HD, so I'm, I'm actually getting to it before that. Um, so that's why it may look a little crusty. It's, it's not Queen's fault, it'll be up at a higher quality here in a little bit. I'm just really excited to see how this goes. So, two megs, I think I saw an Alberta as well. There's a lot going on here. Putting that tail to work, I like it. Gotta take advantage of that, a lot of people underestimate that. Oh, he just messed up. Okay. Okay, there you go, there's a nice hit. Oh, and Alberta too, is that Alberta? Is that Alberta trying to fight you too? Get him, get him, get him. Get him, get him, get him. He's running a Komodo skin by the look of it. Oh, he's bloodied up. All right, I think that's one down, right? And a uh, Thalassodromius. a little raptor of it. Two packies. Alright, two packies and it looks like a Dinon maybe? Holy cow. Three packies. Holy cow. Impact Crater was popping. Here comes the other one. He's thinking you're going to be easy. He sees you all bloodied up and he's thinking... Alright, this is going to be an easy trophy. 
then I'm gonna go in global and brag about how I killed a Spino. So he's definitely underestimating the Spino's bulk right now is what's happening. He sees you're bloodied up, he thinks, you know, you're a couple of hits away from dying, not understanding that your combat weight Yeah, every time I've been to Impact Crater, it's been nutty as well. I'm with you on that one. <laughs> Your Spino looks so cool. I love that skin. Nice. The pond is safe for another day. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. Yeah, they did a pretty good job, all things considered. Awesome, Hanya. I love those videos. Why is the Rex in the water? What is he doing? Please tell me the Rex is on your side and he's not trying to fight a Spino in the water. No, he is fighting you! This maniac! Look at this mad lad right here! Holy cow! I like this music. This is dope. Is that... so is that... what is that? Is that the Sarko, or is that another Meg? The Rex was trying to ambush you too? That's nutty! Okay, it is a Sarko. Now, the Sarko... The Sarko... Is playing with fire. They, they have so much less health now. Crazy that Rex has had that much oxygen. Why would they need that much oxygen? All right, Staraco's getting in there. See an Anno. Sick, run him back into the water. Now they can have all the oxygen in the world, but they are not going to be able to deal with a Spino that's also in the water. That is, you know, that's not very bright. You would almost need to partner with something like a Sarko. Yeah, get him! Get him! Get him! Oh yeah, he's he's done with. A little baby Sarko. He's coming in for the trophy for sure. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Is that that baby Sarko coming at you? I think it is. What in the world? I will say, in that little pond at a um, impact crater, Sarkos can be a problem. Very cool. Very cool. Yay! Good job, Queen. That was cool. You're up to 150 already. Nice. Awesome. Alright. Yeah, I did see that clip from Prehistoric Planet where they like swim to an island, all the babies included. I don't have uh, Apple TV or whatever it is you need to, uh, to watch it, but I, I watch clips of it on YouTube. Hold on, let me turn my game down a little bit. I turned it up for that video. I think I had it down, like... Here? There we go. You just dropped a stone? Like, why would I even bother?
Nah, I'm just gonna run from you guys. You're not worth it. You take way too many hits. Yeah, well done. Arbin! Hi, Arbin! I haven't seen you in a little while. How are you doing? Man, we got everyone here. We just need Baba up in here. Baba and uh, Tiddly and Real Nate. <laughs> we got all sorts of homies up in here right now. I still don't know if I ever got your friend request on Path of Titans, Arbin. Last time I hopped on, I didn't see it. Yes, yeah, double speed Spino. Croc should absolutely be afraid of you. He was pretty brazen. I, I don't know how much he was expecting um, that Rex to pull, but... Eh, you, you learned them something, though. They definitely learned a lesson from that little encounter. Especially if they were trying to ambush. That's nutty. So, um... Arbin, this game, this is a game called Stardew Valley. And, uh, it's sort of like Harvest Moon if you've ever played those. Essentially, you, uh, you leave the big city to become a farmer on your grandpa's old property. And in the process, you can do pretty much anything you want. You can fish, you can forge, you can build, you can, you know, uh, you can go mining and fight monsters like I'm doing right now. Get married and have a family. It's really cool. One of my favorite games ever, for sure. And um, it's also really chill, so um, at least like 95% of the time it's pretty chill, so it's a great game to play when I, I just want to kind of sit here and interact and talk with everybody. It's it's nice to kind of free up my mind and I can just kind of grind around in here for a little bit. Yeah! You know, I was surprised by how many people when I started streaming this game didn't know what it was. Uh, Stardew Valley is an awesome game and it's not that expensive. So, um, if you're ever looking for something to play and this seems like a, a game you would enjoy, I highly recommend checking it out. I've only played it like four times, so... <laughs> oh my god, there's so many of you guys. Go away. I forgot how annoying bats are. Um, I mean... Ah, same here, Hunya. Oh my gosh, another Monster Hunter enjoyer. Uh, Queen plays Monster Hunter too, or at least she played World. We were just talking about it yesterday with, uh... Um... Oh, who was it we were talking to? Was it Monsta? I think it was Monsta we were talking with about it. Uh, Monster Hunter is my jam. What weapon do you mean? That's awesome, Queen. And you're good at it, too. That's really cool. There's there's no shortage of people to fight when you're playing a Spino, that's for sure. Monsta, I don't think I ever heard what your main weapon is, either. I know Queen played bow a lot, and I, I told you guys I play hammer a lot.
Charge Blade and Great Sword. Oh, Lance is a cool one. Charge Blade's really cool too. Insect Glaive. Hey. Insect Glaive. That's a really unique weapon. I love that they added that. Yeah, Arvin, this is my house. It's not much right now. I haven't upgraded it, but um, if you make enough money and get enough materials, you can actually make your house bigger. You can add floors. You can... Yeah, I have a cat named Baba. Uh, I plan on naming all my farm animals after viewers in my streams, so... Everyone in the chat right now, be warned. <laughs> you might get named after... or uh, You might get the name of a, like a chicken or a goat or a rabbit or something, so... Just be ready for that. <laughs> Tomorrow we're all getting together for the flower dance. If you can find a partner, you might even want to participate in the dance yourself. There's a little clearing beyond the forest west of town where we hold the dance. Um, arrive between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. if you're interested. The problem with that is I don't have enough um, of a relationship with any of the villagers to actually get them to dance with me, so... <laughs> uh, forever alone. Yeah, that's awesome, Queen. And I mean, you obviously put a lot of work into your videos, so that's a huge part of it. It's awesome to see you growing like that. Vegan Lord... <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe. <laughs> maybe I could do Hun Yao. Whenever I get to the point where I name something after you, just remind me. I do like the idea of naming a cow vegan. <laughs> um, I guess I'll go to the mine again. Yeah, if no one here is subscribed to Queen yet, definitely go do that. You guys, some of you just missed we watched uh, her latest video. Um, where she was a Spino fighting Megs and a Rex and a Sarko on, um, on Gondwa and Impact Crater. It was crazy. Definitely go check it out. I think it's called, uh, Spino Protects Her Pond, or Defends Her Pond or something. Yeah, Hanya, thank you. That's, that's what I love about this community. You know, we're all so, like, interested in what each other are doing. I really love that. Oh, you want to be named after a... Or, sorry. Do you want me to name a cow after you, Moro? I can probably do that. I mean, people wouldn't sub if they didn't like your content, though. No. You know, no matter who helped you. At the end of the day, it was, it was you. Okay, so you see this swirly rock here? This is actually really important. This could give me a gemstone if I hit it, so let's see what we get. Oh, just amethyst. After I hyped it up and everything, I get amethyst. Yeah, take some pride in yourself. Yeah, at least I got something, that's true. I could have just got like a rock or something. <laughs> Amethyst isn't the worst thing in the world. In fact, um, the character I usually marry in this game, um, at least like three of the four games I've played, I've married this villager named Abigail, and Amethyst is her favorite gift you can give her, so um, I would set up these little contraptions that grow gemstones, and I would have them set to Amethyst so that every day of the week I could give her one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh.
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Time to go. <laughs> okay. Time to go. Time to go. Yeah, exactly. Just keep on going and make the content you like, you know? Yeah, you can marry. You can even have kids. Oh my gosh. Arbin, so I need to tell you this right now. If you're surprised by the fact you can marry, hear me out. You can marry, you can have kids, you can divorce, you can uh, pay like an evil witch to remove your spouse's memory of you, and then you can you can uh, make a sacrifice at an idol to turn your kids into birds, and they fly away and leave the game forever. And so you can marry someone, start a whole life with them, and then undo all of that and start over again if you wanted to. No, I've never done that. That's not, that sounds evil. That sounds kind of sociopathic. I'm not really like that. But uh, you can do it if you wanted to. If you wanted to RP and uh, yeah, Fable vibes for sure. I'm glad you know what Fable is. That's a name I haven't heard in a long time. I had an ex who was obsessed with Fable. She like lived in it. Look at all these dudes. Look at all these little fellas here. Can you guys, like, go away? You're so annoying. Oh, that one dropped quartz, though. That's not too bad. Plus, they just added fish tanks to this game. So you can catch fish, and then you can keep them as pets in your little fish tank, which is pretty cool. <laughs> I play Sims, and I divorce my wife all the time. Here, I need to... Where is it? Bring it back. There. <laughs> I play The Sims and I divorce my wife all the time. <laughs> I like how it's my wife, you know, like singular. Like you're divorcing and remarrying the same thing a million times. I don't know why it's so funny to me. <laughs> Like, what's your pastime? Oh, you know, I divorced the wife. You know how it is. <laughs> and one child support. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you can upgrade your house, you know. You can get all sorts of cool things going. I love this game. I'm like, I've, I've been obsessed with this game since the first time I played it. Oh, wait, you, you divorce them because they want child support? Usually you pay child support after the divorce, right? It sounds like she was kind of a gold digger if she was, you know, asking for uh, child support while you're still married to her. I think she pulled one over on you, Arvin. Where are the stairs? Oh my gosh. It's gonna be like the last rock I check. Or maybe you're hiding them. Oh, come now, Arben. Not all women. Hashtag not all women. Alright. You, you'll find you a fine Simish woman. And she'll cook the finest uh, Simish cuisine. And she'll wabba flabba do your garba flu. Or however they talk. And uh... <laughs> I befriend people to the point that I can renovate friends' houses, trap everyone there, then get them stuck in the pool until the inevitable happens, then inherit the house and sell from- Wow! That is cold-blooded.
That is crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. Uh, man, do you think when video... Okay, when the people were, like, creating Pong, right? And they were working on this new video game technology. There's no way they expected for us to hit a future in which you could divorce people and uh, turn your kids to doves or, like, trap your friends inside a pool until they die and then, you know, sell their house. That definitely wasn't in the game plan, you know? Urban's just got his mind on his money and his money on his mind. I'm just waiting for a real Sword Art Online mate. So, what, you're waiting for Asuna to show up? <laughs> She's gonna hate you and then love you and then you're gonna find a kid in the forest and you're gonna be like, okay, this is our kid now. It's been a long time since I've watched Sword Art. Your deepest, darkest secrets, desires, and so sociopath tendencies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I should play The Sims at some point. <laughs> well, that's okay, because you just, you pay dominoes to put, like, so, at, at that point, whenever video games are, like, fully immersive, like, the, uh, uh, the, the full dive, you know, stuff you see in Sword Art, by that point, what it is, is, like, your food will be delivered through a tube intravenously, and so you'll just pay dominoes to, like, take off the old bag, their delivery will be, they come into your house, they take off the old bag, and they put a new one on there with their patented, like, cheesy bread with garlic sauce, you know, liquid mixture that drips into your arm while you play the game. That's how it's gonna work. That's where we're going. <laughs> I remember the first time I played VR chat. It like blew my entire mind. Yeah, there you go. You take people in like end of life care and you put them in the uh, virtual world and they can like fly around and tame dragons and stuff. It'll be great. Uh, is there a town in the game? Yes, there is. I'm going to it right now, actually. So, th this is called Pelican Town and it's in Stardew Valley. And so we've got like our health clinic. This is Pierre's, it's like a general store. You got a couple of houses. This is the saloon, the mayor's house. There's some more houses over there. Uh, let's see. You come across the bridge. This is the museum where you can like donate things and get rewards. And then this is like the blacksmith. <laughs> the near death star. <laughs> I'm just saying, man, you could you could die lame, you know, you can just sit in a bed and wither away watching 
you know, Bonanza or uh, I don't know, what else do they like to watch? Like I Love Lucy or whatever. Or you can put on a helmet and do literally anything you want in the entire world ever. No shame on I Love Lucy, by the way. I Love Lucy is my jam. Yeah, I'm not much of a city person either. Maybe that's why I've always had trouble with internet. <laughs> gosh, go away. I'm not going to the flower dance because I don't have a partner and I don't want to be the weirdo sitting over by the punch bowl with no one to dance with. That's lame. You see my hat? I'm way too cool to go through that. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to break some rocks and uh, maybe fight some bats and it's going to be sick. So there. Single life. Omni Geode, nice. Okay, so, um, if I die in this game, which, so, I'm in the mine, so if enemies, you know, bring down my health bar, basically I'll pass out and I'll be rescued by one of the villagers, but I'll lose random things in my inventory. Uh, so I'll, I'll respawn at, like, the entrance to the mine, but I'll be missing some of the stuff, so it's really bad to die after you find, like, diamonds or something. Um... And then there's something sort of like that that happens if you are out of your house after 2 in the morning. Um, that's when the carrot thieves come up and they, they jack you for everything in your inventory. And again, you wake up at your house and you're missing a bunch of your stuff. But there's no like, you know, there's no like death or anything really. It just kind of sets you back. I need to start finding some iron because I'm trying to upgrade my tools. Used you a mix packing. Oh, okay, because Herbie's got involved in the fight, right? That's not your fault.
I got a slingshot. Yeah. Oh, right. I forgot about this. So it's close to like a... This is close to a gun. <laughs> Oh, good iron. I see the iron. I also see that I'm getting low on health. Give me all the iron. Eat the green bean. Yeah, but I mean, even in official, people people only, you know, speak highly of unspoken rules like mix packing whenever it benefits them it's like for example mix packers will never complain about it they'll always say it's official there's no rules but that same mix packer after his buddies get off could get killed by a mix pack and then glow go into global and say like dirty mix packers this is why this game sucks the devs need to do something about this i've seen that you know it's it's always like rules for thee not for me and um like I've said in videos before, I really don't care how people play the game. I've died by mix packers, mega packers, you know, everything in the book I've died by. And I've never once begrudged people for playing that way. I just hope that they understand that the same way that they, you know, they can play whatever way they like and I'm not going to like hold it against them. Uh, they're open to uh, criticism for the way they play too, you know? You can do what you want, but you can't do what you want and expect everyone to always be happy about it, especially when it's like a an unfair situation like that. Ooh, frozen tear. Right, because if you're on officials, it's just sort of accepted that that's part of the game, you know? And that's the mature thing to do about it. But, you know, it's just like, it's being a sore loser when when you die and then you immediately go to chat and start, you know. Like what those people did with you. You know, you weren't even necessarily in a mix pack, but when they die, they need some reason to, uh, so kind of put it in their favor, so they go into chat and they're like, oh, mixed packing, you know, whatever. Yeah. 
Yeah. Right, and Mario, there are so many ways to enjoy the game. That's exactly right, you know. Some days maybe you do want that chaotic PvP, everyone against everyone, you know, mix packing, all bets are off, trash talking, you know, all that kind of thing. There's a place for that, but some days maybe you want to go on like a, a semi-realism server with, you know, some rules set in place to protect the... I don't know. I, I don't know if it would be specifically for like role-playing or maybe you, you just kind of want to immerse yourself. Either way, you know, different days you may want different things. And it's cool that Path offers all that. Yep, that's official server syndrome, Quinn. Attack first or ambush first, then die and then complain. <laughs> Complaining global. Yep. Where am I going? I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Yes! Oh my gosh, Hanya. Yes, absolutely. When you die and someone says, like, easy, get good. <laughs> that is so, so frustrating. This way. I'm losing my mind. Yeah, mega packing's rough, especially now that they've added like Lone Survivor. You know, things like Packies and Pignos aren't really grouping up anymore. They're just kind of hanging out, and they have like a truce, you know, they're not in a party, but they have like a truce together. And, uh, that way they get the buff and they still have the numbers. Hypnos are terrifying? Really? Exactly, Queen. And people will notice that too, you know. This is this is the character I usually marry in this game. This is Abigail. She's the one that likes amethyst. I need a cave carrot. Okay. For Carolyn.
I'm not here for you, Pierre. I'm here for your wife. She wants a cave carrot. Because apparently her husband won't go out and get her one. So she has to ask random strangers to get it for them. Pierre. Where is she? Is she down here? No. Is she up here with the kids? Pierre's wife? There's Haley. I don't see Carolyn. Or Caroline. Nine pick no charges will kill a balanced stego. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty spooky. Without the Lone Hunter solo buff sense. Okay. Yeah, that's a little spooky. Um, and I guess it wouldn't be too hard for a pick no to avoid being hit by the stego, too, just because of how fast their trot is and how much better their stamina is. You're making me want to play a pick no, my guy. I've got a few skins I could I could grind for. I'm halfway tempted to hop off Stardew and start doing that. Stamina minus attack pick no. Yeah, I, I'm not sure there's really a bad way to go with that, honestly. The extra stamina is nice because the pick the Pikno does have very nice stamina, and like I said, it has an insanely fast trot anyway. Which is awesome because if you do want to save stamina, you can just trot everywhere. But the, the attack on it's not bad either, thanks to the weight. You killed almost killed six Metries with my Amarga. That's awesome. Yeah, if the Stego can hit you, though, is the thing. If you time your charges well enough. Plus, even if it does get a hit off on you, it's easy enough to avoid the Stego. Sliming me. Oh my gosh. I killed a, a Stego with a Meg the other day. That's not to say Stegos are weak, but 
If a Meg can kill one, then I, I could definitely see a Pigno doing it. Although, part of the reason the Meg did so well is because the Stego doesn't have good stamina and the Venom Drain is such a... such a, a, a hindrance to them. Right. And I mean, okay, does the Stego still have Pivot? Okay, if you're running Stego, I, I would assume the better choice would be Pivot. And if you're a Stego with Pivot, a Pycno should not be able to, to get a charge off on you without taking a tail attack. The turn on that Pivot is the bleh, the Pivot. The turn on that Pivot is just like way too good. And if you hit early enough, you're going to be hitting them in the head, too, so... Yeah, that's what I did with my Meg, Punya. I, I would just bait the tail and then come in, because it does give you a nice, like, second or two for the, the recharge. Oh yeah, I've seen videos of Stegos killing Rexes and stuff. And, you know, I've definitely fended off plenty of... Sub apexes, no problem with my stego, so. Great playable. Really love it. I'll have to redo my uh my showcase. If there have been enough changes to even warrant that at this point. I don't know how much the Night Stalker update really affected the Stego. Ooh, is that Aquamarine? I think that's Aquamarine over there. Invincible smoke creature thing. Ooh, hardwood, nice. Stop, there's so much. That's awesome, Queen. Yeah, that's a super big deal. A hey, nice. Tundra boots. How good are those? Two defense, one immunity. We're switching to Tundra boots. We got our, uh, Hey dudes on, we're good to go.
Oh, wow. Yeah, take your break, Queen. Path isn't going anywhere. I am wondering when they're uh, they're gonna get around to adding the new dinos, though. I think they spoiled me by adding so many in such a, a short amount of time. Cause now I'm getting kind of antsy. Hey, Samuel. I'm playing on PC. Yeah, I'm also excited. I was going to do a uh, conk showcase because I really love the conk, but I'm going to wait until they do the uh, the kick that it's getting. I think so. I think they first started talking about it with the aloe a long time ago. Iridium? Wow. <laughs> It'd be like Path of Titans meets Fortnite. You just drop out of the, the sky. Alright boys, where are we landing? That's a fun idea. they make a flying dino that can kill a rex, I think we all have the right to be very afraid. Assuming we're not also playing it. Assuming everyone in the server isn't playing it and it's just like a sky full of headses. It was kind of like that with the Thalassodromias for a little bit. Everyone was playing at the lasso.
Oh, I don't have enough. Rip. I think they have adjusted it. I've seen a lot of the comments about nerfs they've made. You mean like NPCs or like actual players, Arvin? Like I'm playing single player right now. You can actually play this game multiplayer, um, but I'm playing single player at the moment, and I haven't worked on my relationships with many of the the villagers like at all. Like you can see how high your hearts can get, and then any of these characters that say single under their name, you can actually like marry. Okay. I know that's it's crazy. No, you should run to uh, Walters. It's like a minute away. You want me to go? I don't want you to die via sneezing. So, would you like me to go get you some medicine? I'd be willing to. Yeah. Alright, everyone. Red alert. Uh, my wife is dying via allergies at the moment. So, uh, I'm going to run to the store to get her some medicine. And, uh, I'm, so I'm gonna shut this stream down. And then when I come back, um, I'm probably gonna switch over to Path.
So we'll save here. Yeah, she has really bad allergies. I don't know what's setting them off. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to cut the stream here. Go get her some life-saving medicine. Uh, because I am a hero. And uh, I will be back. Uh, in just a little bit to play some, probably some Path of Titans. I'm, I'm kind of in the mood to uh, hunt, so uh, see you guys.